I've got the newest, well I shouldn't really say the newest, but the newest in my possession, Fright Crate. So what they do is they will sell like the April's Fright Crate all through April until it sells out. They don't want to ship out till May. You might get it, not get it till the middle of May or the end of May. So this March Fright Crate, which is the newest one I have in my possession, was shipped out like mid to late April. So this, even though it sounds like it's two months behind, it's actually the newest one that we have received. So the one that I bought May 1st, I won't get until like the middle to late June. So they're, it, that's just kind of how the, the Fright Crate works. But uh, anyway, this is like around 30 bucks a month plus shipping. You always get, usually, there's usually an autograph in here. Usually like a little figurine kind of statue. Usually I think there's an art print. There's sometimes t-shirts. And yeah, overall for the price point, like around 30, it's like around 30 bucks. Actually pretty good price point. I think they actually do ship internationally. Of course it's gonna cost more plus customs fees. So I don't know what those charges will be for international customers, but for US customers, it's a pretty decent deal if you're looking for a, not a super expensive mystery box to open up, you know? And on this YouTube channel, I do a lot of subscription boxes, a lot of mystery boxes. And some of them I like, some of them I don't like. Some of them that I don't like, I open up just because people want to see an honest review from boxes. And Fright Crate, I've really been unhappy with these. Some of them haven't wowed me, but all in all, I'm, I've am i been happy with Fright Crate, which, uh, or with the contents received from this box. Okay, I kind of have to peek to see what's going on in here. That's the top of it. Let's see. So we'll go through everything, then we'll go back at the very end, look at the cheat sheet, see if there's any more information that I might have missed or might not have known about something in specific from this box. We got stuffing here to start. Here's like a piece of uh, computer printer paper. As I guess they ran out of like blue stuffing paper, so they just started using <laughs> printer paper. It works. Let's see. Pull this thing out first. We oh, cool. Um, uh, it's an eye patch from the movie Silver Bullet. Um, this is when, was it? It's the preacher. He is the werewolf in Silver Bullet. And uh, can't think of the actor's name now. Whenever he, he was a kid who played it, um, he did, what did he shoot him with? I can't remember, but the pastor lost an eye. So throughout the rest of the movie, he wore an eye patch. So that's kind of a little like trinket, little fun thing. Um, and also, if there's anything from this box that I don't want to keep, I always put it to my eBay store and sell it because it's a way to recoup some money. Because you won't like every item in every subscription mystery box. You might only like like one or two things. You might only keep one thing. You might not keep anything. So me, I buy a lot of stuff. I buy a lot of boxes, a lot of, of just stuff. So I do sell a lot of it because I don't need it all, don't want it all. So something like this will be on my eBay store for sale. And the eBay store link is in the, the, the description box for this video if you want to buy anything. Next, I saw it was a CD. We have Elvira's Heavy Metal Halloween. Screaming guitar renditions of Frankenstein, Phantom of the Opera, The Exorcist, and many more. Interesting. That's a little bit different item. They usually don't put in you know, these kinds of boxes. Hmm, okay, kind of cool. I have to check it out. But I most of this music I already have on my Apple Music that I pay like what ten bucks a month for. So I mean, I won't keep this. I'll probably sell it, but you know, I'll play it first just to make sure it's not like some kind of special edition of the songs or anything. Oh, here is the back cover for it. It's not in the CD case. I guess it because it doesn't fit in that. Okay. Another piece of computer printer paper to hide the contents. Here is our resin statue we always have with this box. Some of these statues go for quite a bit of money. I've sold a few of these things for like $20 to $25 a piece. These statues have almost paid for the box a few times. But I think they go with the resin uh, statue company. Or I can't think of what they're called now. 
And this statue, The Collector. Um, I'm not sure what movie that's from, actually. Like, I, I know the character, but I just cannot picture which movie that one's from. So, like, the statue, I will sell it. Because it'll probably sell for 20 bucks, I bet. Because it's actually, it's a really high-quality statue. Like, they're not cheaply made. They're actually done very, very well. Those, you can recoup quite a bit of money with your statues from this box. No joke. Next, we got the monthly pin. We've got... It will freeze your blood enamel pin. I'm drawing a blank on that. There's been a few things this box has kind of like thrown me for a loop of what it was for. Some more computer printer paper. We have another. Oh, that's a man. What's that movie from? Um, this this is. <laughs> I'm not doing very well with this un unboxing. Because I know lots of YouTubers, they will look at other people's videos first, just have an idea of, you know, the content so they don't, they're, they're not like this, like, tongue-tied because their brains aren't, they can't process what stuff's from sometimes. Um, I guess it'd make a better video if I watched other people unbox theirs first so I kind of had an idea what was in the box. But I'm just giving my honest first impression of everything that I get. Once I see the, see the cheat sheet, I'll remember exactly what that's from. I'm just drawing a blank right now. Okay, we have a DVD. And we got a DVD of John Carpenter. Fear is just the beginning, the man and his movies. So this is an interview uh, DVD. You get interviews with uh, John Carpenter, Jamie Lee Curtis, Kurt Russell, Alice Cooper, Nick Castle, and so on. So I won't keep this. I'll sell the DVD for sure. Okay, and then we have, looks like we have the autograph. That's gonna be the last thing in this box. Here's the cheat sheet. There's the autograph. I totally cheated and looked at it. Once again, it is from the movie Silver Bullet. Oh, actually, it's not an autograph. It looks like it's just a art print this time. This box this time did not have an autograph in it, but that's okay. So that's super cool art print though. So here we go with the cheat sheet. So it says, exclusive the collector mini bust. Don't let him catch you. This awesome bust from Serial Resin, Serial Resin Company. Roughly three, yeah, so it's the Serial Resin Company. These things usually sell for pretty good money. So if you don't want yours, put it on eBay. You can flip this thing. You can always flip it. We have an exclusive Silver Bullet replica eye patch. It's actually a reversible eye patch. It can be worn as a replica of Reverend Low Eye Patch or wear it with the logo showing. One size fits all. Exclusive Halloween 3. Oh, that's Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. It's it's one of the masks that, that the kids wore. It was the, the pumpkin, the witch, and the skeleton for Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. So this is a magnet, and it's made by the same Serial Resin Company to get you longing for Halloween, only this is exclusive to Fright Crate only. So I bet you if I sold both of these, which I'm going to, I bet these two things will pay for the entire box, if not a little bit more than that. Then we got an assorted DVD. You could get the John Carpenter I got or The Loved Ones, a modern-day horror classic, Elvira's Heavy Metal Halloween CD, an exclusive it will freeze your blood the prowler pin i still don't know what, what what's that what that's from i still don't know and then an exclusive max cave siller silver bullet art amazing art by our dear friend max cave from the iconic film so yeah so that was everything here for about 30 bucks honestly i probably won't keep anything from this box this time there's really not anything that i want so everything i will sell and you know what's kind of awesome once i sell this all i'll i'll make money off this box so that's kind of like the cool thing about some mystery boxes like this one there's nothing here that i actually want but i can resell everything and actually make more money than what i paid for this so it's kind of a win-win with certain mystery boxes you can actually make money with these things so yeah all this stuff will be for sale on ebay in the near future so i'll see you next time and i'm out <laughs>